So we've got this chart right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to detach your chart grids and assemble them on a multiple monitor setup. So let's just take, for instance, we'll just pretend that this area here that you're looking at, these four different charts actually represent four different monitors. OK, let's just say we split it in half on a horizontal and on the vertical axis. OK, and so we're going to go ahead and detach this chart grid right here. OK, so it's the button right next to the chart grid selector tool. It's the hamburger menu and you go ahead and select detach. And now that chart becomes that becomes a separate window from your thinkorswim. You see, I'll drag that to the side so you can see it. See the main thinkorswim window is behind and this one that I just detached is now showing up here. So let's go ahead and drag this up and resize it, okay, to kind of fit the upper quarter of the screen. And then we'll go ahead and detach another one. Let's see, there's two different ways that I can show you this. I can update the chart to a new grid layout and detach that, okay? So this is method number one that you can use for setting up your multiple monitor layout. And I'm just gonna kinda estimate this here, okay? So the other method that you can use, we'll go back to the original right here, okay? And we'll detach that. And I'll go ahead and resize this down to the bottom quarter. And we've already got a version of this one opened up. OK, we can minimize this now. And now you can see the three chart grids that I've detached. OK, this one up here is the same as this one down here. OK, so these two are identical. So what you can do is select one of your chart grids from here. OK. And then if you wanted to detach from here, you can detach from here. You no longer need the main window of Thinkorswim at this stage because you can just multiply your charts as needed. And we'll go ahead and select one from here. Those chart grids that I'm opening up that are already saved, you see this right here? Video, video new, video new two, video new three. Those were all covered in the bonus material at the end of session one. So go ahead and check that out when you get time. And so we're just kind of pretend that we have four different monitors and we've resized each of these charts to consume one of the four monitors. Each one covers one of the four monitors. OK, so that's how you would go ahead and set that up. And here's another very important tool to be able to use is that we'll open up the main window for Thinkorswim. And again, I'll drag this down so that you can see we still have our four detached charts set up in a grid. OK, an array representing four different monitors. And so on a regular Thinkorswim platform, the main window, we can go to Application Setup, and then we can go ahead and save the workspace. OK, so we'll call it Multiple Monitors and save that. OK, and so what that does is it saves this main window here just as it is, and it saves all four of these detached chart grids exactly as we saved them and exactly on the monitors that they were placed. So if you have a setup with four monitors, as this example assumes, and you took each one of these grids and moved them to one of your four separate monitors and then saved that workspace from here, save workspace as, okay, then it remembers all of that. So let's go ahead and set this back to my video recording. OK, so this is so I've got three different workspaces saved here. The LE driver is the one I use during my regular workflow. Multiple monitors is the one we just created and saved. Video recording is the one that I've been using to record this video series. So I'm going to switch it back to video recording. And now I'm going to drag the main Thinkorswim window out of the way you can see those four chart grids are gone. OK, so if you had a multiple monitor setup and you switched to this layout, then all you would get is the single main view of Thinkorswim. And if you wanted to return back to your multi monitor setup, then you would simply go to the setup button here and you would select multiple monitors. 
And thanks to the wonders of video editing, that looked like it happened instantaneously, but I tell you, it did not. It took a little bit for all of that to show up. So there they are, just as we saved them. Okay, so it's very, very handy. So now we've instructed you how to detach your chart grids and display them on different monitors, or you could display them on the same monitor as I've done here in the video. And I've also shown you how you can save the workspace so that you can go ahead and set everything up just the way you like it and save it. For instance, you might have a laptop and when you're at home, you have all four monitors. And so you display all four monitors. And when you're on the road, you might only have space for one monitor. And so you've got a workspace saved for each type of work environment. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hon-tech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks and take care.